Welcome back. This is going to be the last time you're going to see the city like this. And let me just turn it around. This is going down. Not technically going down there or down there, or even though we're going to use that as storage as we are building a new table. Um, we are doing it for three different reasons. One, this table is as crooked as it comes. It is me who built it and I'm not a carpenter. And when I put it up here about two years ago, I didn't use a leveler. So it is bumpy and it doesn't really fit. And with me making the most plates, it's a mess. So I want to fix that. Two, we really want to have another color on the wall, on the walls. So it's a bit difficult with this big city in the middle of it all. So that helps that. And three, Mrs. Looney Breaks has gotten a couple of new sets that needs some space. We could just move the amusement park down there or make a new table over here or make a new table over there. I know this is a mess, but we had a cabinet right there and that was everything that was in it. But with that new space that is here, we are now able to extend the table. So right now the table is 176 base plates, roughly. And with the new layout that I have thought about, it is gonna be 243 base plate. Although some of it is gonna be all uh, against, all up against this wall. So we're not gonna be able to use everything over here in height that we can put up a stream or something like that. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. I hope, I think. But it's gonna go all the way up there, four base plates out from the wall. Then there's gonna be a three base plate wide walking space right here. And it's gonna go up there. And it's gonna go all the way over here like that. So pretty much the same as it is right now and pretty much the same uh, space behind over here. And the upper level is gonna be the same size. It's just gonna be over here instead, but it's gonna be a lot bigger. And all of that over there is gonna be Mrs. Looney Bricks land or Mrs. Looney Bricks Enchanted Forest. Uh, <laughs> But it's it's gonna be it's gonna be so good. And because I'm not getting any younger, I really don't want to be going inside that access hole all the time because I really feel like that's what I'm doing right now. I do love it and I'm gonna keep the lake. It's not gonna go away. I think it's absolutely amazing, even though it was made pretty much just to be an access hole. And uh, I'm still gonna have beach, I'm still gonna have residential area, I'm still gonna have everything. So everything you see here is still gonna be there just in another in another in another space on another size still having the walls everything is going to be I was about to say the same no it's not going to be the same it's going to be totally different but not so let me take everything down there so I can disassemble and get it painted and get new boards and everything. I'm not gonna do all of this in one video. I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna take me a couple of weeks to, to do this. I am working as well. So it is one, two, three. Now it's empty and it only took me about a day. I think it took me about four or five hours to, to take everything off and it is just because that everything has been neatly put down here and didn't take that apart yet. All the walls are there. So now I just need to disassemble this. Whoops. And then hopefully I can start painting or we can start painting tomorrow. Just going to go all the way up the stairs. So again, this one. I am keeping, but I'm just taking off these and then flipping it. Hopefully it will 
fit and then it's going to go over here and all the other things I'm just going to take apart and I I was about to say I hope I'm pretty sure that I can reuse uh, a lot of it so wish me luck <laughs> and Mrs. Lundbergs is having a blast doing this hope you can hear what I'm saying she's quite noisy right so we just need to take these off and disassemble it all. I kept, as I said, this. Um, it should work just flipping it around and putting the, the legs on it the right way. And then we are very, very far right now <laughs> with the disassembling. So now we just need all the other things. But it's looking good. And as per usual, it's not me doing the uh, the manual labor. It's Mrs. Lunabricks. But it will really bright up this room. Brighten, bright. It will make it lighter. So we are very excited. We have painted this, or actually this time I have. So it's not only Mrs. Lunabricks doing all the hard work. And we have built a, a little part of the uh, table already. I'm gonna tell you why in just a moment. Uh, I just wanted to show you that we still haven't painted this. Uh, two reasons. One, which is basically the most important reason. Can't reach. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't have that long arms that I can reach from there and over there. So we're gonna wait a bit, uh, but luckily it doesn't have any effect uh, on the table building or anything. So we can just push everything up as soon as we have uh, reached, uh, painted this. And then again, we haven't painted this little bit over here. Uh, again, two reasons. Uh, first reason is that there's still Lego. And yeah, that's basically also the second reason <laughs> because we still need to, to paint this um, the same color, I think it's, yeah, it's gonna be the same paint. Um, just to to get it all the same color. And then we didn't want to move that because we don't have that much space. And that is where that comes into place. Because we still have all the things from the old table. And we're just gonna take one of these and put up there and then use as a, I was about to say shelf. We're gonna use this as a table so that we can put everything down there, push it up against the wall, put on a table top and use it as it is intended to. Uh, and this, just so I can go a little bit back, is just used with, uh, with old parts from, uh, from the last table. And by some sheer coincidence, maybe not, uh, these, is the exact same size or is the exact size that I need to to make this part. Um, so this is gonna be four base plates when the when the plate is gonna come up and I think it must be about a little bit about about ten base plates uh, wide when the tabletop come on, come on. And we need two of these. The other one is gonna be a little bit bigger but two of these to make 21 base plates up here. And then we are gonna make two parts, two tables over here, which is gonna be seven and a half base plate by 18 base plate, I think. So something in the ballpark of, of six feet by 15 feet, if I've counted correctly, I think I have. So we're gonna make two tables uh, the first one is going to be about 180 by one and a half meter, so about six feet by five feet. And the back one is going to be three meters by 180, so about 10 feet by six feet. So, and then those are going to be connected and these two are going to be connected. And then we're going to have some, some connection points over there. But you're going to see a lot more when we actually get to build it. And of course, that's just gonna stay there. I am gonna keep the two access holes, even though I said I didn't want access holes. 
but that's that's uh, for two reasons. I always intended to keep the back access hole, you know, the one that I really barely didn't uh, use, but that is so that I can still reach a part of this. I don't know if it's uh, possible uh, with the uh, layout that we have at, uh, right now to reach it without going into the access hole. And then the access hole where the lake was. And the reason for me to keep it is barely, or barely, is solely because of that. Because if I keep it, I can use all of that or most of it um, because it's going to have the exact same position on the table as it had on the old one just again flipped and it's uh, these are the same from either if I had it on one side or the other side I think so it shouldn't be a problem but I can use it again um, will I use it most likely not but now I at least have the option so Again, it's all been made with the with the idea that I don't need to use any of the access holes, but I'm still going to have them just in case. I have a couple of places where it's kind of sketchy, but let's, let's see when we get to build it. But third layer has to go on there. Um, just need to dry a little bit more. It's about six, five, six hours since I, I made it, so I think I can I can do it again in a moment. And then we just need to build the rest. So a little sit rep of what we have done so far. And now the first coat has been applied almost to the other side. And again, it is the handyman in the house doing it. <laughs> Why not? So three coats on this and one coat over here. So it still needs two coat. I just stepped in that. So I think I'm all painted up. I am anyway. I, I did do a little bit, but this was all we got to do in the first week. We, I hoped we would have gotten a little bit further, but um, it took a little longer to apply the, uh, the paint on this side. So I'm actually quite happy and hopefully, maybe, maybe uh, we can get the uh, last pieces of wood in this we get so i hope i will have enough to do next week but uh, until next time bye